Uh, this year, the British Society of Gerontology is um, holding its 47th annual conference here in Manchester. And uh, MICRA has been very heavily involved in this. We are leading uh, a consortium of the three Manchester universities to host the conference. That's um, us here at the University of Manchester, uh, Manchester Metropolitan University and the University of Salford. Uh, and that's enabled us also to become very involved with the city, with Greater Manchester, Ageing Hub, um, Marketing Manchester, all of whom are supporting the conference. And we're absolutely delighted to have brought this very important scholarly meeting uh, here to Manchester. We've chosen as our conference theme for this year, Aging in an Unequal World, Shaping Environments for the 21st Century. Uh, and really this emerged from a lot of discussion uh, among the scientific committee and among the British Society of Gerontology, where I think there is now a, a very strong feeling that the unequal conditions under which people are aging, not only right here in Greater Manchester, but also across the country, across the region, and definitely across the world. Um, this, is a, this is going to be probably the most important theme that we as an aging research community address in the coming century. It also ties in very, very well with our uh, research priorities across the piece here at the University of Manchester, where of course one of our research beacons is inequalities. Um, we here focus uh, a lot of our research on improving the environment, uh, and that goes right from um, inside the home to communities, to cities, uh, and to much greater infrastructure. And, and again, we, I think as a gerontological research community, we believe that environments are really critical to how people are going to age in the coming century. Uh, as president of the British Society of Gerontology, um, current, current president, and also as director of MICRA, the Manchester Institute for Collaborative Research on Aging, Collaboration is absolutely at the heart of everything we do. Um, all of our projects will have um, often many partners from outside academia. Uh, and also we try as hard as possible to always involve the people who might be affected by our research in our research programs. Um, and so uh, we might, uh, in a project, partner with the World Health Organization, we might partner with a tech company, uh, we, we might partner with um, uh, local government uh, and also with communities of older people here in Manchester. In, in particular, we at the Manchester universities have a very close engagement with Greater Manchester. Um, a lot of this is directed through the Greater Manchester Aging Hub, through the Health Sciences uh, Partners, through the hospitals and through Manchester City Council. And, and I think this is something that really gives us a unique capability in undertaking all sorts of research across the social sciences, behavioural sciences, medical health sciences, um, because we have this very close integration uh, with our um, regional government. We have understood for quite some time that ageing has to be a research priority. We currently have more than 300 uh, researchers uh, here at the University of Manchester who are engaged on projects, research projects uh, about ageing and ageing well, ageing communities, and we will have many more who are looking at disease-specific research pathways such as stroke and cardiovascular um, uh, uh, health and uh, immunology and so on. Um, I think that the strength and depth of our community, research community here, really shows how seriously we take this uh, as a research subject. We hope that we've laid on an absolutely fantastic experience for delegates who are arriving here in Manchester. Um, we have more than 400 scientific papers and posters, of which I'm very pleased to say that just over 80 
are coming from the Manchester universities and um, showing uh, the, the depth of um, research right here. We also have a fringe program we, which ranges things like a, a photography exhibition, um, other scientific programs, side meetings of special interest groups and so on. Um, and the Greater Manchester Ageing Hub has promoted a festival of ageing all the way across the city um, where there are hundreds of events taking place involving communities in Manchester. Uh, I think it's going to be an absolutely fantastic conference. I can't wait for it to start.